Hello, good evening, royal family. Happy that you're spending the evening with me. I wanted to do a get to know me tag video. So let's get these questions rolling. I got them up. I'm going to be answering them. Um, any questions y'all want me to answer that I didn't answer, leave in the comments below. What's my full name? My full name is Giovanni Yasmin Jamise Austin. Um, my name means James and Vondora for eternity. Those are my parents' names. Um, I am a med my name, what my name means, or if I'm named after anyone is the next question. Um, I'm a blend name. I'm named after my mother and my father. Um, it's their name blended together. Um, artistically um i don't have any interesting anagrams i never have wanted to change my name to anything other than queen and i think not even i won't even i don't even want to change my name i want to add queen as my um surname i think surname is my last name like and uh my suffix boom as my suffix i would like instead of being miss mr miss mrs i'd like to be queen um where am i from i am born in east point georgia i grew up in stockbridge mcdonough area um of henry county georgia i am from east point georgia um i love being from georgia i am a true diehard georgia peach to all of my core um looking growing up i really looked up to my aunt um a lot jean henderson jay henderson she is a big role model always has a, been a big role model for me i don't think that part has changed i look up to her a lot i would say my best characteristics are hmm, I'm optimistic. I have a great smile. Um, I have a great personality. I'm a big people person. Very fun loving. Um, and I like to listen to people. Um, and really listen to you. Um, even if it doesn't seem like I'm listening. I'm really listening. And I'm just one of those people. I'm very genuine to a fault. Like I... I, if I fold with you, I fold with you. If I don't fold with you, I don't fold with you. You know what I'm saying? It don't get no clean cut, didn't that? Um, I think my favorite thing about myself is my love for freedom of expression. I love living life. I love that life is exactly what you make it. And if you don't make it more, you won't get more. And if you don't make it less, you'll just get less. Like, And it's what you get in, you put out. And so I think that my understanding of that is one of my favorite things about myself. Because I understand completely that if I don't put this thing in, I ain't getting nothing out of it. So I don't mind putting in hours of work to get everything I wanted I'm not opposed to that um so I'll also say that my other favorite thing about me is that I'm very driven and focused on accomplishing my dreams I'm very goal oriented um which my parents are my closest to definitely my mom even though I wouldn't say we're super close I it's just I don't know. Yeah, my dad just aren't close like that. And me and my mom, we're close. We talk regularly. I'm just not. I think life has just made me be that way where me and my parents aren't close. But I think that it's more because I'm such a free spirited person and individual. And it's taken a long time for both of my parents. And. To really understand that. And it's been, I'm not going to say hard for me, but it was a process. Um, which my parents are most like. I don't really spend time with my dad like that, so I don't really know if I'm like my dad. But I would agree that me and my mom have a lot in common. 
but I would say personality wise, I really act most like my dad's mother. I get that a lot from my cousins and my both on both sides and my mom. My mom says I act just like my grandma on my dad's side. Um, and it may, they say I act like her a lot. Um, are my grandparents still married? My dad's parents are still married. My mom's parents are not. But all of my grandparents are still alive. My grandma is actually turning 75 in a couple weeks on my mom's side. I'm super excited. Um, that's my baby. Um, just because we spent a lot of time together when I was younger. And we don't act very similar. But, you know, everybody loves their granny and everything. Uh, mm, one thing I've never revealed to my parents, but I'm sure they know, is that I'm bisexual. I've never, like, came out and been like, I'm bisexual because I don't feel like I had to explain or justify my love for anyone to anyone. I don't. And so I don't never came out and told them that. And I've also never brought any girls home, but I'm not a closed door. I mean, if I like you, I like you, period, just in general. Um, what do I call my grandparents? I call my mom's dad, I call him Daddy Jean. My mom's mom, I call her Nana or Nail Nail because her name's Varnell. On my grandma, on my dad's side, I call her grandma. And my dad, dad's dad, I call him grandpa. They're regular grandma and grandpa, but my mom's parents are a little bit more iffy. I'm not even iffy, they're just a little bit more unique. Um, I would say my best physical feature about myself is this right here, this smile. Physically, it's just wonderful. That is my money maker um my biggest accomplishment my son um I just as a parent have learned how important legacy is and I understand what I leave am leaving behind with him and I couldn't be more proud of myself or of him, even in the slightest thing. Even when he just says thank you when people do things for him. I'm just like, I'm oh, my baby. I'm so proud. But, yeah, that's my biggest accomplishment. My biggest fear, um, in general, would be falling for the same thing twice because I feel like I should know better. Um, yeah. My biggest regret is, second biggest fear, just had to throw that out there, is I'm really terrified of the unknown, which I feel like everyone is, but I'm, overcom I'm overcoming that, so that's why I didn't make it my number one fear. Um, but falling for the same thing twice is definitely number one. My biggest regret Biggest regret. I don't have any regrets. I know that seems so simple-minded and millennial of me, but I don't regret anything because at one point in time, this is what I wanted to do. So, no regrets. My eye color is brown. Um, what inspires me? Um, history. Um, the people around me, I'm surrounded by a lot of great people who do a lot of great things. And they just push me, push me, push me. Because I'm like, I can't have no boss-ass friends and be a lame. Nah, I got to be a boss too. And I mean, like, then if you talk to my friends, they'll say that I inspire them. So I feed off the energy. You know what I'm saying? Um What has required the most courage of me in my life so far? I would say <laughs> venturing out alone. I don't. I had eight brothers and sisters growing up. Um, yours, mine, and ours. My mom had kids. My stepdad had kids, and then they got married and had more kids. So I had a lot of brothers and sisters growing up, and I never was really alone, even though I felt alone. 
and moving out on my own and venturing through life on my own has taken the most courage of me because a lot of times I just don't it's it's a place that I'm doing what I never have done to get what I've never gotten so I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone which is already taking courage and I want to retreat every five minutes but I'm just like we here now girl go ahead and push that thing through and make this thing break for us so there's that um favorite actor coffee Kofi Cerebo I don't know how to say his name, but baby, he is fine. And number two, Idris Elba. Both of them is dad, dad, melting when I say that. Um, favorite actress. Hmm. All of them. Oh, Leticia Wright. That's been bae since Black Panther. And I just love her aura. She is just. Wonderful. I would say favorite celebrity in general. Mm, it was Cardi B. I still love Cardi B, but that's a whole nother story. I'm just looking at some mad differently. Favorite musician, though, would have to be Cardi. Not Cardi B, SZA. SZA, I just really feel like she writes scared insecure girl music and not even in a bad way but like that's her standpoint like she's a very much so an introvert who's like sheltered and she's like ah leave me alone but she wants you to hear her music and to love her and she's a fairy and she like wants you to care that this is her but at the same time this is her and it doesn't really matter so I love it like I love the whole perfection that's absolute bae um, favorite person in the whole world, my son, could spend all day with him, that's bae, he's my baby, um, favorite color, pink or black, pink is the number one, been the favorite color since I popped out the womb, black is just sleek, like, love all black earth thing, like, um, favorite cultural activity, yoga and meditation, crystals saging self-expunging hold up one second uh, people always butt dialing me in the middle of my videos that sucks um favorite drink water or wine the two w's of life water or wine water or wine but not white wine i don't like that red or rose um Favorite fairy tale, Beauty and the Beast. I have, ah, I can you see it? Uh, uh, weird, awkward echo. Ah, show it down. There's a rose on my leg from Beauty and the Beast. That was so awkward. Sorry, you guys. Um, favorite food, mm, macaroni and cheese. Mm. In the oven, though. Not that pan shit. In the oven. Um, favorite holiday destination? Any place with a beach. I love my swimsuit. I love the summertime. I love my swimsuit. Any place with a beach, take me there. I'm going. Um, favorite ice cream flavor? Any of them that's coconut based? Because dairy be putting the kid through it even though my favorite food is macaroni and cheese whatever don't judge favorite quote if you do what you've always done you'll get what you've always gotten and um on my shoulder it's my other favorite quote it's an arabic but in english it translates to i suffered i learned i changed and it's because when you grow when you go through things you need to let those events change you period like and not for the worse but for the better so if you grow from these experiences then if you learn first you have to learn from them so you go through these experiences and then you learn from them so you really want to take 
away what you're really meant to take away from the experience because not every person or situation or thing that's going on will last forever and so when you learn from them you can change and really become the person you're meant to be through these events that happen to you so that's just been my life lesson that I carry with me and my favorite quote um favorite time of the day is actually the morning I'm a morning person I don't mind waking up early as long as I've had enough sleep um favorite way to pass time talking I'm a big talker and talking to people who want to just talk like I love to sit in the car y'all this is just me you know this is a getting to know me I love to sit in the car off middle of the night blunt lit feet kicked up talking about everything just talking like I love to really get to know people and especially people I really care about like I really I really like being one of those people who could be like oh you would never do something like that and mean it because that's not you um but that only comes from really knowing people um Favorite scub- subject, subject, favorite subject in high school, definitely history. Um, I took um, AP U.S. history with Mrs. Boyam. All my Dutch Channel followers, I know y'all know Miss Boyam. Um, it was a wonderful class. It made me realize how history will keep repeating itself until you learn to do better. Period. Like, so wonderful. Am I scared of heights? Fuck yes terrified now i will do some stuff that will push me to not be scared of heights but i am terrified like i'm definitely one of those people who are terrified and like it's like i'm just gonna look over the edge just a little bit but terrified of heights um am i high maintenance i would not say i'm high maintenance i would definitely say that I ain't free, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm aggravating. I'm sorry. That was aggravating. <laughs> but I'm not free, though. But I'm not high maintenance. The fuck? I'm not free maintenance, but I ain't high. I'm like medium maintenance. I ain't low maintenance either, but I'm medium maintenance. And medium maintenance meaning, like, I'm not asking you to take care of me, but I do want your time. I'm physically demanding. Talk to me. Hey, like, am I a good cook? Yes, I can cook. Um... I could throw down with shit for a deal with this shit. Yeah. Uh, question on here. It says, are you inclined to build your own empire or at least unleash the potential of others? And I would really want to answer this question because this is my whole brand. I want to build my own empire that is built on unleashing, unleashing the potential of others. I feel like. The best way to be powerful or to be successful in any way, shape, or form is to surround yourself with successful people. So if we can all build on each other's success, then why not? Literally, why not? There's not even a good reason to not not do it. Um... Am I likely to avoid conflict or engage it, head, uh, engage it head on? I am combative. I am completely like, so bitch, what's up? Like, you got V? You got a problem? Like, that's me. Like, I'm definitely like, so what's the problem? What's good? What you trying to do? Like, I'm definitely up there with it. Um... Next question. If you had more courage, what would you do differently in your life right now? I would move out the state. I would move. I'm just so scared. Like, and now I'm getting hair in my mouth. Um, I'm not even scared of moving. I'm just, 
I don't want to. I'm, I, don't, I ain't never lived nowhere else, y'all. Like, I'm literally a peach inside and out. Like, I'm going to move, though. But if I had the courage, I would move. Like, I would be packing my boxes right now while I talk to y'all. Like, ah, we moving out north. Ah, like, yeah, I would move. Um... Well, who's the best teacher I ever had? Um, Robin Evans. I would say that. I just felt like her aura and the way. I love people who make me think. And she was always questioning the way her students thought, but I built a relationship with her and that was the way she always used to question, make me question the way I thought. And that made her a great teacher to me. Um, first person I call when something happens, two people, cause one's a call, one's a tech. First I call best friend, which we got a segment coming up. Y'all gonna like that. Um, I call best friend and then I text other best friend. Both my best friends are introverts. Um, and anytime something happens, I tell them because I'm an ambivert, which is I'm a hybrid of both. So I can turn it on and turn it off. But I'll walk around outside my house in introvert, I mean, in extrovert mode all day. So, so first time something happens, I'm like, guys! And both best friend one best friend is has grown accustomed to my random phone calls other best friend is like text me before you before you call me with that text me um worst boss i ever had i ain't gonna listen no names because i'm petty and this is social media but he used to put his fingers in my drink mad disrespect utterly not messing with you he's that's worse than managers who don't show up is ones who disrespect you when they do um can I close my eyes and raise my eyebrows I guess I just did it huh yeah um can I do a split no but I'm working on it part of my yoga practice we're getting there can I touch my nose with my tongue yeah, I really don't want to do that, and I can't, so <laughs> it's good. That just, even trying to, I'm like, why would I put what I eat with on my on my nose where snot comes out? Whatever, no. Can I whistle? No, can't whistle. Jealous of anyone who can. Don't whistle near me because I'm going to be a hater, period. Um, can I dance? I don't think I can dance, but other people think I can dance. You're always your worst critic. It's okay. Um, do I remember my dreams? Yes, all the time. Um, do you? Do I save old greeting cards and letters? No, I don't save old greeting cards, but I do save letters and I save birthday cards. Like I have birthday cards dating back to when the kid was a young jit. Like I, I'm, uh, yeah, definitely keep those. Do I sing in the shower? Depends on how drunk I am. Yes. Um, do I sleep with the lights on or off? I slept with the lights off, but I used to have a nightlight for a long time, probably until I turned like 17 or 18, not even going to flex on y'all. And it wasn't even a fear of the dark. It was just a fear of being alone, but grew out of that sooner than later. Do I take any pills or med medication daily? Um, I'm supposed to take vitamins. I don't take that. And I've been having these kind of migraine issues. I'm supposed to take medicine for that every day. But I don't like taking medicine every day. The only thing I'm trying to do every day is be great and do yoga and drink water. That's it. Like, I'm not doing nothing else every day. Um, the type, would I per Do I prefer Titanic or The Notebook? Neither. I um, really hate love story movies. They make me nauseous. Might be it's just because I'm feeling phase right now. But love stories literally do nothing for me in movies. Because it's just so unrealistic. Like, it was... Don't even get me started. Just neither. Um, do I have a catchphrase? No, but I do have a lot of regular phrases that I say all the time. Do I have a garden? Kind of. 
I have a fig tree in a pot. And it's growing though. You know, it's prospering. Um, do I have a tattoo? I have five. Got my wrist. I got my son's initials. My uh, crown. I have my birthday right here. I got uh, this one on my shoulder that says I suffered, I learned, I changed with a rose on the back and then a rose on that there calf. But I'm bum, got five tats. Am I allergic to anything? I'm allergic to outside. Cats, dogs, dust mites, flowers, grass, trees, pollen. But I love outside, so let's go ahead and get sick in this thing. All summer 18. Y'all, the time is flying by. Um... Do I have pets? No, but I would like a fish or a dog, which are completely different, but I would like one. Um, do I carry a donor card? No. Black people, stop being donors. Protect yourselves. That gives them the right to kill you. Y'all, I'm sorry if y'all, y'all know I'm pro-black. We are not donating nothing, my nigga. Resuscitate me, okay? Okay, resuscitate me don't think that oh well we don't want to we don't want to damage this liver for the next person no shock that thing shock me 20 times till I wake up um first friend in college her name is Charlay Taylor um haven't talked to her in a while but that was my first college friend um do I believe in love in first sight yes and I'm not going to say that I believe, like, you're going to look at someone and be like, we're going to get married. But I have um, met some people and known off front that that was immediately going to be, like, some type of great relationship that I would have. Um, my most used swear word, fuck. I say fuck all the time. I really be trying to tone it down for these videos, but that's my favorite cuss word. My zodiac sign is a Libra. Scales. Um, I'm actually very big into zodiacs. I'm not going to shame any of y'all on, on, on the tube just yet. Um, the top of my bucket list is... Travel, travel, travel everywhere. Um, what scares me the most about aging? I'm really not scared about aging like that. Yeah, aging doesn't scare me like that. My first personal pet, because we had family pets as a child, was my dog, Smitty. Um, that was my first baby. He was wonderful. Um... How many pairs of shoes do I own? I'm a big shoe addict. I would probably say, as I glance over to my shoe collection and swiftly count, um, I would say at least 30 pairs of shoes. Heels, vans, boots, sandals. I don't really have that many tennis shoes like that. Because I'm not really athletic. You don't do yoga with shoes on. So I don't need shoes for that. Um, how old do I think I will be when I get married? I'm not going to put an age on it. But I will say that I, it's a certain type of connection I would like to obtain from a significant other. And if I don't have that connection, we're not getting married, period. Um, have I ever suffered a fracture before? No. Also, never broken anything. Thank God. Um, have I ever ridden a motorcycle? No. I've never been in a beauty pageant either. And I've never dated two people at the same time. All of these are questions on the thing. Um, favorite flavor of tea is hibiscus blueberry. Um, it's a reishi tea brand. I also like peach teas. Normally, green or herbal teas are my favorite. Um, the last compliment I got was, mm, girl, you look good. <laughs> I hate old men who grunt when they compliment me. It's so disgusting. It's like you're like, 
wanting to beat your dick, but then you want to have self-control, so you just grunt when you talk. And I'm just like, oh my god! But yeah, that was the last compliment I got. Um, I'd rather, it says, what is one thing you'd rather pay someone to do than do yourself? I'd rather wax myself. But I pay someone because I actually can't snatch the paper off. Like, I've tried plenty of times. I'm um, a fel- female celebrity that I wish was my sister. I would say Solange or SZA or Kaylani or her or Raven Lene or even Erica Badu. All of them. Um... scariest movie I watched I haven't watched a scary movie in a long time but that's more just because I don't like scary movies so when I watch them I like when people don't tell me that they're scary so they're not scary like one miss call was supposed to be scary but I watched it in Japanese and it was funny so it was like a comedy so yeah um what's under my bed nothing I hate stuff under my bed plus my bed is on like a platform so it's not that much space um what are on the walls in my room? I have a Zodiac tapestry behind me. I haven't figured out how to read it yet, but soon. I also have some pictures of my son and another tapestry that says Be Amazing that I do yoga in front of. Sorry, you guys. I got the hiccups. Where do I buy my jeans? Wally, 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 world. Like, I love Walmart. Um, Really trying to get away from using that, but I love it. Um... Mm-hmm. Something about myself that I hope will change, but probably never will. I really wish I could calm down. Like, I really wish I wasn't on 100, but I'm always on 100. So, there's that. Um, Yeah. You guys, I've talked your ears off about 30 minutes. Thank you for getting to know me. I might do more segments of these because these questions were wonderful. Thank you for enjoying the time to get to know me and spending time with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you.